Michigan Wolverines, yeah. which is also in the state of Michigan, Somehow which is now being party. accused of uh, cheating, obviously, and stealing signs, which has had everybody have a take on it. Every competitive human you've heard speak about it, just like with SignGate with the New England Patriots, mm -hmm. has come out and said, yeah, people have been trying to steal signs in every single facet of every single sport since the beginning of time. Now Pete Thamel's saying, you know, they've kind of zeroed in on Connor Stallings. Ooh. Connor Stallings, ex-captain in the Marine Corps, I do believe. That's right. He has been hired by Michigan over the years, and they uh, seized his computer, allegedly. Uh -oh. He has been the one that has been linked to being the guy that has set up the sign-stealing operation, if you're reading all the narratives and tea leaves coming from Pete Thamel. Now he's saying... This guy's bought tickets for more than 30 games at 11 Big Ten schools over the past three years. Also, video evidence of sideline taping is expected to be sent to the NCAA this week, caught by stadium surveillance around the Big Ten. Uh, mm. Now, there's a counter-argument to this, that Connor, former captain in the Marine Corps, also was buying tickets for maybe military vets oh. around Big Ten schools, okay. trying to represent Michigan in that particular way, which might be the case. But what they're alluding to is that this guy was the chief officer operating officer of the sign stealing operation <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm fascinated to see what video evidence gets turned in because what if this surveillance is like every other surveillance video we see grainy you know pretty mm -hmm. not, and it's just this guy with his phone up like this and then all Michigan people are going to say the guy can't take a picture to commemorate the moment in which he is exactly. watching his favorite Big Ten team play like I feel like this is just going to get so muddy with he said, she said, mm -hmm. that's not real excuse. What is the case that we're never really going to get to the bottom of it? And all the while, we're going to potentially ruin a run by a team that is very good right now, mm -hmm. which is this Michigan Wolverines team. Yeah. They are very, very, very good right now. And all anybody's going to say, okay, just like what happened with the Patriots. Oh, yeah. Deflategate, Spygate, boom, boom, boom. All anybody's going to say for the rest of the season is, well, of course. I mean, I said it. Whenever I was on the grab bag, I was uh, everything that comes from this Michigan sideline and Michigan team is going to be equated to the sign-stealing situation. Whoa. That's just how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. With that being said, I do not think <laughs> – I mean, I might be wrong. I, I like you're, not, to read, you're not wrong. I like to read humans. You know, I like to think, like, how would humans that were doing this act? Now, you can't always get into the mind of people, especially Michigan people. I would never be accepted there. I'm not 100% sure if they are stealing signs in this massive operating style that they would put it on a, a piece of lamp and then just be waving it <laughs> in the face of pretty much the other team and the cameras. That might be their own signals yeah. that they give out, mm -hmm. but I'm not 100% sure that this is the other team's signals in which they put on a piece of paper just so they can get a reminder whenever they're there on the sideline, and then they're just going to be so loose with that. Maybe. I'm not, I don't want to be a Michigan apologist. Okay, I don't. But until they show us video or evidence of them actually utilizing a camera, zooming in, clearly taking these signals home, using uh, any type of AI or computer yep. or anything to tell them what the people are doing, I think nobody in the com competition world is going to take it that seriously. For instance, here's Matt Rule talking about the entire situation. He would obviously love to have Michigan get kicked the hell out and get punished and Jim Harbaugh leave. Here's him chit-chatting about the whole entire thing. Yeah, sign stealing happens every game. Um, there's nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with teams over there looking over trying to steal our signs. There's nothing wrong with us trying to look at their signs. That's why you should have mics in the helmets, right? Like all these coaches that vote against it every year is because they don't want to teach their quarterback. You know, in the NFL, each quarterback goes out there with three play calls <laughs> because if I see if I see the free safety's foot like that, it might be one high. I'm going to check to this play. And if I, but you get to college and you're watching a game on a Tuesday night, and you know they they got the signal and they're just calling a play. So uh, it's what makes college football to me. That's why they score a lot, maybe more points, but it's also why the kids are less prepared. So that's why they should, there should be, 100% should be, we could get rid of all the stupid signs on the sidelines and we could get <laughs> pictures of, you know, rock stars and all that stuff. And we could just play football the way it was meant to be. You go to a high school game, there's technology on the sideline. You go to an NFL game, there's technology on the sideline. You go to the college, there's nothing. When you, when you played Michigan, did you have any suspicions that there was more than the usual amount of knowledge on their side? I, I am. I'm, I, I, you know, no one from the Big Ten or NCAA has asked me anything yet, so I'm not going <laughs> to probably comment on anything like that. I, I would never want to cash shade at somebody else going through a hard time. I don't know anything. Uh, I like him taking the high road there. But yeah. what if when the NCAA asks you, is, yeah, that's why we didn't beat him. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you tell me. I don't know what you want from me. But it is everybody that has ever had a prominent role in actual sports, like – 
at a college level or a professional level. No offense to the people that played high school. I understand how much you love the game and how awesome you were and everything like that. But to get to the next level, the competitive juices that you have to have, the competitive stamina that you have to have are just at a different level. It's going to make you work a little bit harder. It's going to make you be dedicated. I understand there's lazy people that become professional athletes. They normally don't last long. But the people that are at that competitive stamina level that is very high are normally the people that go on to have success. They are also the people who are trying to get any advantage that they could possibly get on every single play. So if there's a coach over here on the sideline and he says this one word, and that one word means something every single time, I am actively stealing that person's sign and I am keeping it. Yeah. That has been a part of every sport. Soccer, they do it. Baseball, they do it. Football, they do it. So until we see, and I think Coach Rule would agree, until we see like some sort of going above and uh, beyond the moral clause yeah. of it all. I think it's going to be hard for me to take serious, but there are people that are really pissed about it, D-Bud. There yeah. are people that are really pissed about yeah, it. Yeah, like you said, that, that's key. Going ab above and beyond, and that would be, you know, somebody recording, going to every game, recording multiple sidelines, getting the signs. But outside of that, like you said, you're trying to turn every stone over. You're trying to find every edge. We used to go to different, you know, cities to play games, and, hey, don't throw any of your shit in the garbage can here. Yes. Anything, like, take it all with you. Like, it was – it was, it's that level of paranoia because you know you're trying to find every edge. And, you know, you have a program like Michigan, straight in Nebraska. Like, these guys are getting paid tens of millions of dollars to win championships, to win big games. And to do that, usually you need every edge. So, But we are saying – if he did record it and yeah, that's the utilize any other technology, like of course you're going to be able to dissect people's signs whenever you're staring at them for 10 hours and you've got to match up from your video to what the plays are. And it's like, oh, here's a trend we are starting mm -hmm. to gather. I think everybody's like, that's too far. Like yeah, I think yeah, that's what everybody's yeah. like, that's too far, which is why I think the Big Ten is saying that it's even anything because that's the big takeaway is that the Big Ten's acknowledging it. The NCAA is acknowledging it. Pete Thamel is, like, very adamant that this is going to be a huge ordeal. Maybe even Jim Harbaugh leaves Michigan yeah. because of it all, which would be – because who's next? That'd be wild. How long they go yeah. through it, what they've built. I mean, that's a whole – for the second biggest brand in the Big Ten. It's just – right now it feels like it's a lot of noise, and it's tough for me to really get up in arms about. What was uh, what was Harbaugh – the self-imposed suspension. That was, that was for a hamburger. Cheeseburger, yeah. Yeah. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. We don't know. Did he put cheese on it? He did. Oh, we don't. That's why. Good question. Yeah. Like he bought I just a recruit know. or something? Like a cheeseburger? A recruiter. Recruiter, yeah. Burger. Yeah. 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 Now, granted, I assume there was more to it than just yeah. a hamburger. But what was alleged is very legal now in this NIL world when it wasn't at the time. Okay. So they said, you know what? You're right. We'll do this. Mm -hmm. We're playing the University of Bumble shits yep. <laughs> and I will suspend myself for it but the NCAA Pete Thamel says they have not imposed a penalty on that that was self-imposed so now you got potential spying and potential hamburger gate mm -hmm. yep. with the NCAA <laughs> kind of handling it Yikes. it's like I don't I, I must be missing something you know my assumption is that the they have they do they have to have some sort of smoke and gun because otherwise, like you said, like why would they have been so public about it like it would have been a lot easier to kind of build this case without making it so public now where, like, Michigan can almost get their ducks in a row to prepare for it. So I assume they ha they have to have either footage or, like, they already have this stuff kind of ready and waiting to go after them. Otherwise, you know, like, they, they almost kind of cooked themselves before they actually went after them. I hope so, because if not, this is, you know, Ohio State gets beat twice and now they're going after a veteran, which, you know, I don't like at all. You're talking about uh, yeah. Stalins? Yeah. <laughs> Captain Stalins? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Captain Connor Stallion. It's not easy to find a job post, you no. know what I mean? Like, post, know. you know. Also, post you and I were talking about this. If they are stealing signs, I expect Captain to be a lot smarter about it, not use his own name and his own bank account and everything like that to buy tickets to these other games. That's so. what I'm saying. Like, I read people. Like, that's what I try to do. Use now, a fake name. Exactly. Like, some, and also, like, his computer, there's no way. He got a heads up that they were going to, you know what I mean? Like, hey, there's something in a while. They're talking about our signs. I assume that computer, let's say it does have something on it. That thing's on fire quicker than the New England Patriots. <laughs> oh, yeah. That Absolutely. thing is gone before it. So if, <laughs> if they even get a computer, like in my eyes, if this guy's captain and he's the one trying to do this and he's been hired by Michigan, which is not like, uh, you know, Michigan's supposed to be. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't know. It feels like there's a lot of loose ends happening for something that should be pretty buttoned up by the humans that are involved, but they continue to report on it. So yeah. I assume 
There has to be something. Surveillance footage, though, has never let us down in the past. No. Nah. No, never. <laughs> so, always the worst. Never. Hey. It's always like, what, 640p or whatever the, the hell it is? I mean, you can't see anything on it. I do want to be on record to say, though, I do think that those were the actual signs stolen on the side. Oh, you, you do? They were just yeah. waving them around? You think they yeah. were just like, hey, we got yeah. them. Oh. You think they weren't scared at those all? Were, hey, that's the one. Boom. You see? They, there was another the photo in that tweet. There was another photo in that tweet where I think that if we were to go to Ben Scott Stevens' original tweet with this one, there's four of them. Yeah. There's, a, there's another photo where there's a bald white going like this. Like, oh, staring. Come on. Of course they hand the sheet to the black guy. <laughs> Gotta take the photo. I think he, yeah. I think he potentially, see, in my eyes, he was the one giving out signals for his own team. Yes. Like, I think that was reminders for his yep, own team. You know what? You changed my mind. Like, I think right. there's a chance right now. <laughs> I think You're there's right. a chance right now that we're stealing Michigan there. signs right now. Mm -hmm. Like, we are currently getting mm -hmm. Michigan signs right now from that entire thing. Oh, this comes from Buckeye Huddle. Shock. Hello, you know go back to the other photo. Low-level no. staffers usually next to the D.C. on the sidelines. The other way. Boom, that one. Zoom in. White bald. Who's that Just guy? Staring. He's intently staring. That's Stanford Steve? <laughs> that, that, that does give you a little bit of a, what's that guy so interested in? Yeah, you know, yeah. and that huge head, big brain. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy has a couple signals on some people in there. And it feels like Michigan, the timing of it. Like, if this goes back to last year, right, is that probably what they're looking yeah, at? Yeah, they said they he bought tickets to uh, both sidelines for the Georgia versus Ohio State game. Yeah, like that's got to be what they're really <laughs> pissed about, if it's anything, because they can't be mad about, you know, Michigan beating Rutgers by 65.